Since the birth of filmmaking, there have been female filmmakers. Once men realized the great profit potential of film, they began working to take over the industry, which they overwhelmingly succeeded in doing by the late 1930s. We see this not only in filmmaking, but in other areas you know, where women have made success. You know, they're written out of things. Um, so this is another kind of example of that as well. What were some troubles you faced becoming a director? Oh yeah, a lot. Uh, I think this all goes back to the male-dominated field again. So it's one of those things, it's like a double-edged sword. It's like if you don't showcase what you've done, no one wants anything to do with you, but in it, how do you showcase what you've done when no one wants anything to do with you? You know what I mean? So I decided to go and just kind of, because I am an editor, um, I am a writer, why don't I just create what I want to see? Overlooking women's voices in film in favor of male voices is limiting in a variety of damaging ways. Film fulfills its audience's desire to make emotional connections to characters and understand their social world. Yet, it's very rare for women to find inspiring counterparts in film from the male voice, the dominant voice projected for over the last 90 years. It's ironic that women's voices were stronger during the silent era than they have been at any time since. There were more powerful women at every level in the silent era than there are even now. Only women can write parts for women accurately, represent different kinds of women without confining them to socially imposed gender roles, and offer a different perspective on life than their male counterparts. Female filmmakers are foundational to the industry, employ greater numbers of women to work on their productions, and put multi-dimensional female characters on screen people can connect with. 